Hello, Steve White, Steve White's 89. This is my second video. My first one was an absolute anxiety-filled rant. Um, so I'm redoing it because I don't think I can put that on YouTube. But yeah, I just watched the It's Raining Them video because I saw him make a random do video on it. I'm like, what? How is It's Raining Men too gay? What's happening? And now I watched this video. The song is great. Um, I mean, dance-wise and music-wise, it sounds great. Um, the video is really good. I was expecting much less production-wise, um, but it's really good, and the dancers are all gorgeous. Um, they're all diverse. They're all different types. They're beautiful. Um, the, the singer is great. It's, it's, it, production-wise, it's great, but I don't get the point of it. Um, I really don't get because the original song was a couple of um, fabulous black ladies in 1981, I think, who... Um, they were announcing, were they called the Weather Girls, or is it just because they play Weather Girls in the video, I'm, I'm thinking they're, they're the Weather Girls. But I'm just going to call them the Weather Girls and hope I'm not wrong. The Weather Girls did this song where it's just, um, basically they're announcing that it's going to start raining men around 10.30. And it's going to be all these gorgeous, you know, strong, dark, lean men. They're all going to fall from the sky and all the starving women and gay men around the world are going to be able to go out and get absolutely soaking wet, you know. It was a fun song, it was great. And Jerry Halliwell did it again with um, some weird sort of um, um, take on um, fame, the, the scene in the street from that, which kind of got me confused with, was It's Raining Men in fame? Um, like, because it was around the same era. I think fame was late 70s and the song was 81 or something. Yeah, I wasn't there at the time. Um, I can't remember at all. But, um, yeah, so I'm watching it and I'm like, but I don't get it because... The whole point of the song is there's going to be men falling from the sky, go out and, and get yourself some, you know. Because apparently there was um, a, um, a drought of men uh, for some people. So we we're going to finally get a downpour. That was the point of the song. And now it's raining them. Them are everywhere. Like, if it's all just random people, just diversity, just anyone just falling out of the sky, then how is it any different from what's walking around on the street? Why am I ri racing out with my umbrella to get soaking wet in them when them, they, them are everywhere? It doesn't make any, it's, it doesn't make any sense. Can someone explain this to me? Um, is it supposed to be saying we, they, them are finally getting a voice and we um, are now... Um, everywhere so it's raining us like is it's just supposed to be some sort of acknowledgement of the success of that movement or is it literally I, I just I don't get it can someone please explain it to me I'm asking the gay community can someone the trans community the they them community because as a gay man who identifies as a man and um, likes men I'm finding myself being really vilified and um, I, I, it does seem like I remember back when the gays started to get some ground, gain some ground, um, and some um, validation, acknowledgement, and were able to come out of the closet and not be attacked, the straight people felt really threatened that somehow having a third sex or having, you know, gays and lesbians acknowledged was going to minimise them and, and make them sort of be um, eliminated or something, and I thought they were ridiculous. And now as a gay man, having they, them come out and basically say, well, you're bad because you make me feel bad about myself by identifying as, as a man, like, because I don't, so therefore you're saying there's something wrong with me because I'm not like you and you're the norm. There's this sort of thing, I'm like, oh my God, I now understand what the straight people were scared of. They were scared of being eliminated. And now that's how, how I feel like with the they, them. I feel like they can't exist and be comfortable if we are around and, and validated on some level. So I'm not sure, what's the end game here? Where is this going? Because if it's everyone is they, them, and no one can identify as he, she, him, her, what are we going to be left with? I, I don't understand. Um, I really, I don't, I, I don't get it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a gay man. I like men, don't like white men. They're too entitled and have issues and usually racist. But um, all other men I like. And apparently that's a bad thing because I like them to identify as male and that makes me misogynistic and part of the patriarchy and, and I'm white as well. So I'm just vilified all over the place. And I'm like, well, apparently I'm not welcome in the gay community anymore because I'm white and I 
identify as masculine, even though I, I keep saying that word and I cringe like I don't see myself as masculine, but as far as definitions go, I do and am. Um, and apparently if I don't like effeminate men and they them and transsexuals and um, lesbians and just everything else, if I don't like them, apparently I'm bad. So if I'm a gay man who likes men, I'm just as bad as a straight man now. So apparently I have no place in the gay, gay community anymore and I guess the only way they can exist is if I'm just gone. That's just how it feels. So I, I don't know if there's going to be a community to return to after COVID, but I, I don't understand the point. I don't understand what they want. So can someone please explain this to me? I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Please explain this to me. I don't get it. Um, my God, I'm having a Pauline Hansen moment. Please explain. <laughs> oh my God. Ah. <sighs>